congratulations. We, Thank you. We just want you to know that we've been asking everybody all day today, who are you looking forward to seeing? Who are you excited about? Who are you excited about? And who has everybody said? Your name. Your Frank name Ocean has, all I mean, day. Consistently. So no they're, pressure. They're very kind. I paid them all off. <laughs> Your check is in the mail. Yes. How yes. are you feeling? I feel great. I feel great. I'm, the lights are bright. It's beautiful people everywhere. And um, I'm stoked. Well, you look very handsome. Thank you. You look beautiful as well. Thank you so much. Who are and you wearing? I am wearing Dior Ohm. And uh, one of my favorite shoemakers, Common Projects. Um, and that's about it. You look very handsome. I'm wearing some Nike compression shorts. <laughs> we all need compression it's shorts. True. Or it's, or true. something called Spanx. Yeah. That's yeah. for me. Yeah. Not, my mom was, well. <laughs> now, you're performing on the show. What can we expect to see from you tonight? You can expect me to swag out and wear a yellow tux. So we know you're wearing yellow tux. Well, I referenced the yellow tux in a song that I did uh, with this group out of my crew called Mellow Hype. Like almost a year ago, I said I wear yellow tux at the Grammys, and so, so now you have to. You have to. I'm you have to keep your word. Yeah, you have to keep your word. You put it out there. Now you got to do it. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Well, I must tell you that you are a favorite um, to win, and so we know, and we're rooting for you to bring home. Yeah, that's a the couple. buzz. Well, now, what was it like finding out that you had six nominations? I was in New York. I was uh, recording with Pharrell actually, and. Um, we just stopped the session and I was just turned on the TV and watched the nominations concert. And my mom called me screaming. And I went right back to work because I'm like weird like that. But yeah, it was too much. It's I a was, little overwhelming. I was, I was really happy though. It was cool. Yeah. I mean, album of the year. That's fantastic. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just glad people, you know, people received it, you know, because I, I absolutely did. I, I, I want to show you a tweet from Kimbra. It says, excited to see. To see JT, Jack White, and Frank Ocean play tonight, gonna be hectic. Yeah, that's that's a that's a swanky group of guys right there. <laughs> swanky group. Yeah, it is. It is. We're looking forward to the performance. Congratulations to you. Thank yes, you. we're very Thank happy you. for you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm just a perfectionist, man. Like, and I'm kind of like bougie when it comes to Sonics and ish, and, and you know everything. You know, not just the Sonics, but. You know, um, I take my time. Some songs come quick. Swim Good came quick. I wrote that in like half an hour. You know, um, American Wedding took me a week and a half. You know, it really just depends on you know what the story is and and just getting that muff like a lyric sheet to read correctly. So you spend a lot of time. With, what do you think? More lyrics and more melody. Melody, melody isn't difficult. Melody is easy. Um, because melody is is always bad when you overthink it. Always. Every time. Yeah. Lyrics, um, you know, people say overthinking or whatever. L lyrics should be thought about depending on the style of storytelling you're employing at that time. You know, if you're rewriting think of in Hotel California, you should probably think about it a couple times. You know, you should probably you should probably consider the narrative. I don't give a That's right. The fuck you tell him, Tyler. <laughs> you tell him, Tyler. That's right. See, he didn't think about that at all. <laughs> it's, it, they are technically samples. You gotta clear them. Um, Eagle sample has no chance in hell of being cleared. <laughs> No, uh, Coldplay sample, possibly. Um, I, I hear possibly from people who say they know. Um, what else we got? MGMT. I don't know. Those guys seem chill. Um, I heard they heard the record and they liked it a lot. So hopefully that can go some way. You know. Um, uh, what else is on there? Oh, Mr. Hudson. Hopefully this shit gets worked out. I mean, we might pull a Hail Mary and, 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 and clear the Eagles record. <laughs> they might want all the publishing for the whole album. Like, the whole ish, Which can't happen. Sorry, Irving Azar. And it's great. It's great. It's a real um, peaceful but active year. So it's cool. I'm um, just excited to be here. Thanks to GQ Magazine and stuff. And 
I'm gonna leave now. I was gonna say, how, are, how do you manage, I feel like you've gotta be inundated with people wanting to review all the time and put out stuff. How are you handling that? Why, how do you that's not, a, that's not a problem, you know? It's not like a tragedy. <laughs> it's cool, like it's awesome. It just means people fuck with me, and that's, that's cool. Okay, demand is good, right? You know, in every market. Okay, you get enough sleep though, right? I try. <laughs> Where's the project stand? What are you thinking for this next project? Um, well, you know, when I was making the first thing, there were like a, a group of artists that I listened to just for inspiration and, and just to like um, absorb the energies and whatever. But um, it was a lot of Stevie Wonder and this time it's a lot of um, Beach Boys and, and Beatles and whatnot. So um, we'll see how it, how it um, trickles into the music and the, and the final product. I can't say much other than that. Yeah, totally. Are there other sort of artistic projects that you're working on? I know you're a guy that kind of has his sights set on a lot of different things. Um, yeah, a couple. What, what the fuck did you just say? I, I was real calm and shit, but I'll fuck you up right now. What did you just say to me? What you, What the fuck you got to say to me, man? He thinks he's Moesha when he's home alone. You think you the brat when you not at home. You you ate out JD. Oh. You ate out Missy, no challenge. You fucked all the members from Jagged Edge before the Where the Party At single. You fucked 98 Degrees while Britney Spears watched, no challenge. You let <laughs> they leave the finger you. You let Jimmy Fallon do you. You let Tavis Smiley suck your gooch. You let Tyler Perry cash you in his next movie. You braided AJ from 106 and Park's hair. You faded Lil Zane's. <laughs> 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 no challenge. <laughs> no motherfucking challenge. Ocean and Ms. Catania Bro. First time doing it. Uh huh. Probably because my first time here. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what was the what was the choice behind that? What was the thinking behind the band? Was it an extended? You can't think. You just have to do things. Mm -hmm. And so, what are you most looking forward to tonight? Um, asking Obama if he had fun these last eight years. Yeah. Just congratulating them also. Did you ever see yourself at a state dinner? Oh um, no. I didn't. I think that explains the van. So I'm sorry. <laughs> we still continue that. Um, a lot of uh, you know, musicians are putting their support behind Hillary Clinton doing concerts. Do you see yourself doing that? Concerts? Probably not. But uh, concerts? Probably not. Okay. Other ways? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's, we're running out of time, I think. I might have to catch her in four years. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.